Hello again folks and welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. I'm your host the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we had went to, to the Wizard Mel Meldedin's place and freed the Dryad from her captivity within. Uh, disclaimer, this is a re-recording of this episode uh, several weeks after the fact because for some reason the audio from this from the recording that had been happening had gone borked itself. So now we're left with having to re-record it. I'm double-checking all my audio from now on. Well, triple-checking at this point. But we shall see. Uh, pretty much this is right after I had slain... Actually slain Melton and saved the guard that was in the thing and gave over the key and the tooth to Hermosa after the fact. And for the most part, uh, there's not much that is being done in this episode. Um, I'm pretty sure I had been dealing with some undead. Don't know why I have the half plate. Pretty sure I had the armor of comfort at this point. Oh, that's right. I had went and bought the armor of comfort. Uh, I can give some of the stuff. You'll have to excuse me not remembering exactly where I was during this recording. It has, it has actually been quite a bit of time. And, um, honestly, a little bit frustrating. Hmm. And I would say, oh, I could just use my journal to see what I was doing and where I was going. Uh, pretty much the only thing... <laughs> Two of these have been returned, but should the final one be acquired, a follow will pay handsomely for it. Alright. So, at, the fir at first, let's go to a follow. The... If I recall what it is that she'll give me. Which I don't. There, was, there honestly wasn't much to this particular episode, if I'm to be honest. A lot of the time I was just running around the city itself trying to find uh, magical weapons, particularly a plus one battle axe. Because that blacksmith has the ability to craft some fine weapons. Well, finer weapons. Uh, what business do you need done? I don't know. Persuade? Farewell for now. Did I not? Persuade. Ah, there you go. Maybe you can be a help if you're good enough. Yeah, you see, I'm an avid collector. My position here lets me hear about certain interesting things. I occasionally hire people to get them for me. Currently, I want a few pieces of art liberated. The owners of them have made disparaging remarks about me. I would like to express my displeasure. One well, of the statuette of someone called Androd. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Because I thought I already had this quest. Has requested the thief of a series of... Th there is a statuette of a female form reputed in the Darks, Dox, Dox District. I've done Black Lake. Done Beggars. Done the Peninsula. Okay, so I, I don't have all of them yet. I thought she... What? Two of these have already been returned to her, but should the final one be acquired, a follow will pay handsomely for it. But... Is this not the one? Oh, no. I think I remember now. Yeah, you, you have to excuse me. I am working off of old information here. <laughs> Letter from Olaf... Uh, not to mention this particular episode, <clears throat> uh, to be frank, is a little bit, eh, with what happens in it. For the most part, again, I was more or less just exploring the city, seeing what's left or right, what's up or down, and of course, talking with Tommy, because he's such a fine fellow. 
can Tommy do for you? I just want to talk. Oh, what do you have in mind? Continue the story from before. Oh, fine, fine. Picture this then, my lord. There I was, lying in the arms of my human sweetie, completely unaware my angry patroness was on her way. I was also unaware that at the same time, my sweetie's father, the vizier, had been tipped off to my presence by an old rival of mine. Once the wizard and the Medusa were descending on the tower, determined to kill me, and I was contently asleep in the hay, naked as a jaybird. Oh, this can't be have been good. Yes, well, being naked in the hay can leave your, you picking stray out of your... Oh, you probably meant the coming to kill me thing. No, 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 that wasn't good. So, I am laying there with my big smile, eh? Right? Suddenly, bam, the door to the loft flies open and there's a great vizier full of rage. Mmm. You fought him off then, I take it. Fought him? With what, my dashing smile? I hid behind his daughter and the screamed like a banshee and... <laughs> screamed in terror like a banshee. Not the most heroic picture, I'll admit. I darted through his legs and fled naked into the streets. Before I knew it, the vizier was chasing me through the half of the city, firing off lightning bolts and curses at a rapid pace. My patroness was also a bit miffed to see us breeze past her, and she too took, took up the chase. Her fury grew and grew as we stayed ahead of her. I ran for all I was worth, but bugged me if that wizard couldn't move through those skinny legs of his. The Medusa finally found him, throttling me angrily atop the largest building in the Market Saban. So what happened then? Well, my patronage was mad enough that she was determined to be the one to murder me first. She and the vizier yanked me between them like some tug of war, and all I could do was gurgle helplessly. They shouted threats and screamed at each other until the Medusa lifted her veil. The vizier saw this and launched him himself at her, casting a deadly spell as he flew. He hit her squarely and they bo both flew over the edge of the rooftop. I would have been gladly rid of them both, but alas, poor Tommy was catapulted right along with them. We hit three canopies on the way down and finally landed in the middle of the market. A vizier's spell had worked on the Medusa that was dead, but not before he had been turned into a statue. A broken statue by that time. And there I sat, naked and stunned, but otherwise unhurt. And making all that up. <laughs> I wish. The entire crowd assumed I had killed a powerful Medusa and a wizard barehanded. I was in no condition to argue. Word spread rapidly, of course, and the gr story grew. You wouldn't believe some versions I heard. That laid the constabulary. Constabularies? Who believed them? I was a wanted man for murdering the vizier. Good for my reputation, perhaps, but bad for my health. His daughter wasn't too impressed either. She was angry at you for killing her father? you think so, but no. She just didn't want to shack up with a wanted halfling. I had to prove my, I had to prove my innocence. That's why I decided to come to Neverwinter. One of my oldest friends lives here, and he's a forgery master. I was hoping he'd make some documents to clear my name in Calumport. Sadly, I suspect Bellman's fallen victim to the plague. Can't find him anywhere. So that means no evidence and no marriage for poor little Tommy. Perhaps we'll find your friend yet. Oh, who cares about him? I just want these documents. Maybe he finished them before he croaked. <sighs> I can only hope. So, are these the documents you're talking about? What? You're kidding, right? Let me see that. Hayden, Lord Feed, Redling, Halfling. Yep, that's my old moniker. It really is Belmar's work, after all. Just my luck that it would have his crappiest work ever. I'd be laughed out of Calimport if I tried to use this. Ah, well. That's life. I'd have had a biggest buck teeth anyway. Don't know what I was thinking. I suppose I should thank you for saving me the effort, eh? Hmm, come to think of it. Here, let me give you uh, this in return. It was a ring that the vizier ro wore that I, um, <clears throat> managed to slip off his finger before he got stoned. Thank you, Tommy. Yeah, well, the vizier seemed to value it. Said it had great magic in it, but never did it. Nothing for me. Maybe it'll bring you luck. At any rate, I don't have to worry about finding stupid Belmar anymore. Would have had to kill him for being an idiot anyway. Let's just keep on your quest, my lord, alright? So he gives me... Ring of the Rogue, which is... 100% useless to me. I mean, having an increased dex wouldn't hurt much, but... um, Yeah, in its current state, it's not too good. So... 
these different companions all have their own story and when you find different items for the companions and bring them back to them then you are going to be able to benefit from stuff in this case it's the ring of the rogue from Tommy. uh in addition to the different companions provide different things like red tiger gives you an amulet that increases your strength don't worry we'll get to him and uh, just a bunch of other cool things like that. Alright. Uh, just really quickly. Something about armor. I really don't want to try looking through the entirety of this map for freaking magic items again. That was frustrating and rather pointless. But I will be... I don't think I covered these in other areas, but you can actually go here. And as this guy opens it up, and it says storage because it's storage. I don't actually remember coming in here at all. This is not where I thought I was going in anyways. Oh, it's done. Oh, it's done. But it's got a little bit of loot. Nothing too fantastical, I believe. I think that there's actual... There's very little actual loot in this oh, game. Done. Well, alright then. There's actually very little loot in this game that is predetermined where it's going to be. Like, unless it's on a merchant or in a very specific uh, chain of quests. Uh, it's done. Like, sure you can. Shining light shurikens. Yep. Great. Yeah, just random magical shurikens and a random magical heavy crossbow plus one. Just chilling inside of a storage facility here. Uh, maybe it was the, yeah, it was this building. Yep. Okay. So most of these places I had not yet fully explored. I think by this point, I I might have gone into here at some point otherwise, but Eltura hmm, I recognize. will sell magical equipment based around being a mag. So you can sell the various, or you can buy various spells, potions, and whatnot from her. Which is all fine and dandy. Oh. Ah, excuse me. But she is unfavorable with me because, probably because of the eight hole charisma. Let me tell you. It's hard enough being a gnome barbarian. In a gnome barbarian with eight charisma, it hurts. Plague still rages, but some small comfort has been given. Animals are no longer caged in that horrible zoo. Thank you for assistance, and despite the fact that I just saved a shitload of animals, uh, dude's all unfavorable with me. Now that's fine. Only you know, I'm my damnedest. Only usable by Druid. That's a shame. Fair coin, yeah. yeah. If I remember, which I probably don't correctly, uh, I had spent a good portion of this video prior doing nothing but walking around the place trying to find someone that sold a plus one battle axe. Ark, ark. Which is kind of funny because you guys probably can't hear it, but my dogs are barking in real life too. Let's see. Did I already have it? Good lord, I thought I had it. Aw. Oh. I 
thought I had something that I could have turned into that guy. Or maybe I found it this episode. One moment. So if I'm interpreting this old video that I had recorded of this particular moment in time, I had gone through the various uh, stores and was all like, hey, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? Because I really want this armor. Turns out, I think, that the uh, merchant that's in here actually sells the armor that I get later on. I believe. I also believe that I had made a statement where it's all like, Oh man, I'm, I should keep all this stuff so that I can turn it into this stuff so that I can sell it for better prices. Not that I'm actually going to use it. Which makes sense. Uh, to that same respect. Yeah, I had bought some like breastplate plus one. And I turned it into armor of comfort if I remember correctly. I think stupidly as well. Uh, which one was it? That was the leaven bread. Did I just find this guy? I don't remember anymore. Sorry about all this. I, I really am. I wish I could be more enthused about redoing an entire couple of episodes, but man. This feels the worst. All right. Oh, recipes, right. So, chromatic breastplate requires a diamond and a suit of magical armor. Scales of truth requires a special holy water and a magical suit with a total of five AC. That's the part that was screwing me up the entire time that I was trying to figure this out too, is that Oh, it needs a total of five. It's not that it needs five. Whoa, this pack is too heavy. Not what I meant to do. I could turn these guys in, but uh, I think I'll do that later on anyway. So. so if I wanted to make any of this, White bone armor. I forget what it is that I have for that I went with in the first place, but I was pretty much my biggest goal was to get the Sentinel, which requires adamantite and a magical battle axe, which is annoying because I don't think anyone really has any. Uh, let's see what you have to sell. He's like the one favorable character in this game to me. I so I just sold my battle axe because great club plus one. And I don't think I'm going to be fighting anything in this particular episode. But let's see. In shirt. Yeah. Breastplate plus one. A total of six. Which means that I could... Yeah, I can purchase it back and get the chromatic breastplate. Oh, this pack is too heavy. heavy. And he just has these, by the way. So, let's see. Total of six. Requires a diamond. Okay, that's the problem. Yeah, I don't have a diamond yet. Great. Double axe of the tall king. Adamantite and a magical battle axe. I don't think he had a magical battle axe. The regular battle axe. Nothing else. God, I'm still trying to figure out what it is that I needed to do. But I think um, I'm oh. just going to sell it back to him. Again, not like this episode matters that much. And again, I... I deeply ap I keep on apologizing for this shit, but I don't even know what happened. I'm pretty sure that something happened with the rendering and uploading process itself. But 
I'm side-eyeing what I did in the previous episode, or previous attempt at recording this episode. I think I did go and return the two things here to this chump. Greetings to you again. It is good to see you return to this house of tear. I hope that there have been there have been some progress with the search for Halloweth ne Never's tomb. I would ra I would raise the spirits of the city. I'm not sure how that would work, but all right. Uh, describe the recovery of the ancient chronicles of Never. An excellent find in Neverwinter will benefit from learning about its auspicious origins. Perhaps we can find historical precedent for the plague as well. That, is, that as I said, you are to be rewarded. Here, take this 200 gold. It's not much, but there's more to come. Your efforts are appreciated. A light has been cast on Hallowath Never and his life, but there's still more to find. There are further relics of his travels. Return to me. To find if you find them, I shall reward you fairly, plus more when they are recovered. Sure. Uh, how's, how's his armor? His very armor. The location of his tomb. Who would have thought it was just beneath the surface and missed so many others? It speaks of his desire to be known as just another Neverwinton. It's still a weird word to me. Neverwinton. Ah. Oh. Despite his greatness, he never forgot his home. As I said, you ought to be rewarded. Here, take this 200 gold. It's not much, but there's more to come. Your efforts are appreciated. Light blah, 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 blah. So there's that. I'm pretty sure that I can be yelled at by Dester. You know, for the... Claiming of another... Thing of a verb. Oh yeah, I didn't do that last episode. Damn it. Be sure to let it be known that freaking Erebeth was singing my praises. Lord Nashor made a mistake when he appointed Erebeth to be in charge of finding a cure for the plague. I could kick you right in the balls. My Hellmites are better equipped to deal with this crisis of faith. People should put their faith in the gods, not in Lady Erebeth. Seriously, right in the balls. Hello again, and well met as always. I don't think... Okay. I think I had done that... Hmm. I'm trying to remember course of events I took. I know that I actually like went around the city to the other merchants and whatnot too. You are a welcome sight. We are but I honestly rather not. God, why must you be the like only other person that is favorable favorable to me when buying and selling shit? Awaiting its recovery. As soon as like, seriously. Actually, did... Yeah, Armor of Comfort. This is really good shit. Lightweight, even for being heavy armor. It has a pretty decent AC bonus total of 8. But I, again, I think that this does go and completely negates any of the bonuses that I would get as a Barbarian. The bonus... Against reflect uh, to reflex saves versus traps and such, for example. What I really need to do is find myself a trap, toss myself onto it while wearing this, and see what the bonuses say. Rest assured, I never end up doing that. As smart as that sounds. As smart as that sounds, to throw oneself on top of a uh, trap of some sort. In order to test whether or not you get the bonuses. Irismert. And playing through later in the game now. And I really do actually miss. Getting all the little bits and bobs that I've been collecting. Like all these shurikens that really add up to the gold total. <sighs> they love you. And I can't wield this thing. I know that there's a magical thing that I can make, but I can't wield that either, so. Anyways. Um, honestly, the only thing that, only other other thing that I remember that actually happens of consequence is that I end up being ambushed while trying to walk around one of the other sections of the city. But that's about the only thing I actually remember 
of being important in this part, in this video. It wasn't even all that important. It was just all like, hey, this cult is sending more people after you to be ambushing you. And that's terrible and it's pretty bad. That's for sure. But in that case, though, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. Um, the original episode wasn't all that long either. And the biggest things we did was talk to Tommy, turn into things, and get ambushed. And I really don't feel like walking around to get ambushed again. <laughs> so thank you everyone so very much for watching. Uh, next video, it will return to as I was originally recording it. All of this is pretty much just non-canon me re uh, remembering as well as I can about stuff that I recorded several weeks ago. So, back to your regular regularly scheduled Dariusisms. So thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. As always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.